Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc. All rights reserved. I really meant I was sorry For ever causing you pain You showed your appreciation By walking out anyway And that's a cool shot, don't want to inter- interrupt uh, TV Ray there. 23 after. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm Jim Blasting Game. Check out my website when you get a chance, smallbusinessadvocate.com. Lots of stuff there that will help you with your small business. New video every week. New poll question every week. New archives of interviews every day. New articles every day. New suggestions on who to go check out from a website, from a book standpoint every day. All that's right there at smallbusinessadvocate.com. And if you're on mobile... If you want to, you want to get us on your on your smartphone, it's m dot and that'll get you the to the to the mobile site, and you can you can make the make your icon there, put that on your screen, and it works like a charm. It's a great little site. I hope you'll check it out. We got more to come on that too. So we're always updating things and helping to help you have the maximum opportunity to be successful. And one of the ways, another way we do that is by introducing you to really smart people like our new friend Kevin Cope. Soon to be old friend. He's the the author of Seeing the Big Picture, brand new book out just now, just getting up on the on the top of the bestseller list. Was that the the Wall Street Journal uh, bestseller? Is that right? Yes, number one on Wall Street Journal, Barnes and Noble, Amazon dot com, and USA Today. Congratulations, Kevin. Well done. As I said, no chop liver here. Only the best for my folks. Uh, and the website is Seeing the Big Picture dot com, right? Yes, that's correct. All right, so check that out. And an acumen. Uh, your 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 company's name is is uh, business acumen? acumen learning acumen, acumen learning. learning all right so put a dot com on that we're talking about the 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 business acumen in general folks we were talking about earlier the five drivers that uh, that Kevin says and he's exactly right the five drivers are cash profit assets uh, growth and and people what talk to us about growth as a driver. Well, you know, it's interesting. Uh, certainly, if you're a large public company, uh, shareholders demand growth. But if you're a smaller business, you've got the choice. Uh, you know, a company outright, it's your business. You can certainly decide that. But here's what I've discovered. Even if you don't have shareholders demanding growth, and it's your own business, uh, growth is important for a number of reasons. Um, one, it helps keep you innovative. Um, two, and this may be one of the most important, um, is it tends to keep really good employees Mm -hmm. and attract good employees to the organization. And the third would be, uh, certainly if you decide you might want to sell the business someday, uh, growth will build value in your business. So even if you're not a public company, you're a small business, Mm -hmm. growth is still important for a number of reasons. You may choose to, you know, have it be a lifestyle business and not grow, but certainly you want to pay attention to these uh, at least three reasons why growth is important. Yeah, and and a friend of mine says you're either green and growing or ripe and rotten. Yeah, <laughs> you're either growing or dying. Certainly. Well, let me give you let me give you an example. I just met, I just said it a minute ago. Growth doesn't have to mean I, I have a million dollars in sales today and I want to have two million next year. Growth might mean that you add a mobile site to your to your online capability. It might certainly it, you it might mean it. Yep. that you that you add video. It might mean that you that you uh, that you have a new level of training for your employees. Growth doesn't have to mean revenue, does it? Uh, not necessarily. Uh, so there may be adjacencies to the business. You, you might even look at it in terms of your own personal growth right. in the business, so that your ability to run the business effectively or your growth in enjoying the business right. uh, over time. So certainly growth can mean many but, things. But, see the, but all those things I just mentioned, Kevin, could create revenue growth. You, instead of saying we're going to drive revenue, which can be that kind of an attitude can be toxic, Maybe what you do is you beef up the fundamentals, you beef up the the, the drivers of your business, and then see what the, what happens organically. What do you think about that? No question. So you remember, again, these five drivers in the diamond shape I described. You yeah. know, when you think of growth, it really takes the other drivers. Mm-hmm. If you're going to grow your business, you certainly have to have cash to invest. Um, you In the short term, you may impact your profit margins as you're investing in growth. You certainly need asset strength and then your people on board. Mm-hmm. And, you know, one thing about uh, people, I, I love this idea. If people work hard for a paycheck, 
harder for a person and hardest for a purpose. Yeah. So the more that your people can really see that big picture, and maybe if growth is your objective, if they can really buy into growth, mm-hmm. they'll be much more engaged. Not just their backs, you'll get their hearts and minds really engaged in that purpose and direction. Well, you could, you know, another another term that I've, another a quote that I, I, I love, uh, Kevin, is Napoleon is supposed to have said, a soldier will fight long and hard for a bit of colored ribbon. He was talking about an idea, about a, yeah. about, about a, 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 a vision. And and the thing is, is is you know you could say to your employees, I want to help you grow professionally by 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 giving you this training, and and I promise you, if you do that, and it, and it's something that customer can benefit from, you will grow, won't you? No question, that's important to do. I I read a USA Today article about eight months ago that said thirty eight percent of current people that are employed believe they'll be in a new job in about a year, Mm -hmm. meaning that a lot of folks are just biding their time when the economy picks up. They'll be looking for something else. I will. And so, you know, Go ahead. You know, that colored ribbon or that purpose or that Mm -hmm. meaning is important to to engage them. I do believe in the next year that companies who have good employees better start loving them up and making sure that they know why that they know why they're loved and why they're, they're, they're valued because I do believe there'll be some poaching over the next one or two years. There'll be a lot of poaching going on, I think. Uh, hey, Kevin, Absolutely. Give, give us that website again, Kevin. Seeingthebigpicture.com. Seeingthebigpicture.com. Kevin, will you come back another day? we got a lot more to learn from you. Absolutely. Let's do it again real soon. Thanks for being here. Kevin Thank Cope, you. ladies and gentlemen, C-O-P-E, if you're Googling him. i got to take a quick break. 29 after. I'm Jim Blassingame. I'll be right back. Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., intended for the private use of our audience. Except as otherwise provided by copyright law, all other copying, redistribution, or publication without prior written consent is prohibited. All rights reserved.